pretty little bit of a 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 Where's your face? There it is. What are you doing? Silly boy, what are you doing? Say good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, happy Monday. I honestly have no idea why we still have Liam. I am so in love with this little guy. He is so sweet and loving and affectionate. He's completely potty trained. He's never had an accident in his room. He is dog friendly with every dog we've introduced him to so far. He's met Fiona. He's met my boys, Cloud and Mario, through the fence, or the gate, I should say. He met uh, potential adopters, two dogs, and he did wonderful with all of them. Of course, every dog is an individual, and a meet and greet is a must, but so far, with everybody he's met, as far as dogs go, he has been fantastic. Absolutely no cats for this guy, though. No, no cats. And I will also say no small children. Only because he's kind of like a bull in a china shop and he still has that um, frantic, I don't know when I'm going to get my next meal thing. Um, so, you know, toddlers tend to walk around the house with cookies in their hand or pieces of food or stuff. And we wouldn't want him snatching somebody, you know, something from a little, a little kid's hand. So that's why we say no small children. Older children would be fine. What are you doing? What are you, do what are you doing? <laughs> you trying to give me your paw? Yeah. Are you trying to get up on the seat? Is that it? Are you trying to get in my lap? What are you doing? What are you doing, Leo? Hi, baby. You ready to go back in? He's so affectionate. He's such a good boy. He's not real high energy. He likes to chew on his Benny bones and his antlers. He has gained weight. Um, if you saw his eye appointment last week, um, we weighed him. And he had gained almost 12 pounds since the day we brought him to the rescue. So he has definitely put on weight. He is still eating um, 
he was eating four times a day. I think this week we're gonna drop him to three meals because he's getting um, to a good weight. So I think we'll drop him to three meals this week and see how that goes. And then maybe a week or two after that, he can go to the normal um, breakfast and dinner just like everybody else in the house. Right? Right, buddy? Because you'd be a perfect weight? Yes. Yes. Such a perfect little boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I know. Look at that little lip. He needs a forever home, guys. I mean, honestly, he is so absolutely adorable. I, I, and the fact that he is dog friendly and he is so sweet and he's completely potty trained and he's completely non-destructive. I mean, the only thing is no cats. You know, he's such a good boy and he's, again, like the sweetest, snuggliest little snuggle bug. I cannot believe we don't have people breaking down our door for him. I would take him if I could. Did you just burp? <laughs> Did you just burp? So I'm asking everybody to please, please share our little cute snuggly hippo, Liam. We've got to find him a home. He needs a person that he can snuggle every day, all day. Right? He needs a best friend. Right? Somebody that can hold your paw. Right? Somebody that can hold your paw all the time. Yes. <laughs> If you are interested in Liam, please send us an email to 100 plus abandoned dogs at gmail.com. You ready to go in? Please include all of your information where you're located, if you're in a house, if you have a fenced in yard, who lives in your home in the ages, if you have any current pets in the home, what they are, work schedule just as much information as possible. I'm gonna get him back in and I see that Amy is texting me, um, but I couldn't read it. So, I have to see what's going on with that. We've got another busy day here. Pet Rescue House One. I got your crunchies. I got your crunchies, don't worry. There's a little happy boy. That's a little happy boy. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, that's a good boy. Liam, sit. Good boy. So again, this is Liam. The email address is 100 plus abandoned dogs at gmail.com. If you are interested in making Liam a part of your family, if you do, you will have a lot of jealous, jealous people <laughs> because we have all fallen completely head over heels in love with this little guy. He is just, he's amazing. Uh, he will be neutered. He, um, we got him in for the earliest uh, appointment we could um, with Dr. Kesha to be neutered. Unfortunately, it's not till September 10th. That was the earliest um, he had available when he came back from his very long but very well-deserved vacation. He was booked solid. So, um, so he will be neutered on September the 10th, I believe that's the date. It's a Friday. 
And we will also be doing a dental on him because his teeth are pretty bad from everything that he has had to endure and whatever he's had to eat to survive. Right? And then he will be perfect and all done medically, hopefully. We've got about another month to wait to see what's going to happen with his eyes. We're hoping once he gets to his full weight that uh, he won't need entropian surgery. We're hoping, but we've got about another month to, to know for sure. But he doesn't have to stay here while we wait for that. He can go to his home and then just go to his appointments when necessary. So please, guys, please share and please email us if you are interested in meeting this handsome little hippo at 100 plus abandoned dogs at gmail.com. Let's get Liam home, guys. This is Tiffany Rescue House One with the absolutely unbelievably adorable Liam. <laughs> Hope you all enjoy your Monday. I love you, buddy. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I <laughs> Oh, belly rub time. Okay, I'll rub your belly before I leave the room, okay? One hundred plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida with Liam. Please share, guys. <laughs>